So what is backlash? Well, backlash by Oxford University is a strong and adverse reaction by many people, especially to the social or political development. So what are we going to be talking about specifically today? Well, first we're going to be talking about racial justice, which is going to lead to pro versus college athletes, and then we're going to end off with gender. So as you can see here, activism is a large part of black athletes. For instance, we have um, LeBron James and his teammates and a bunch of other young black athletes, um, female athletes over here. And Hartman et al., one of the sources that I use, is a professor of sociology and he notes in a study that particularly athletes use their bodies to implement a disruptive social performance, as you can see here, creating sacred sporting codes and social meanings in, embedded in the cultural structure of the sport. As you can see, basically they're um, basically risking their careers to stand up for their community. And as you can see here, both of them are um, taking this knee, which is basically just called taking a knee. And that's what they're doing, just risking their careers because that's not part of the um, performance of the show. And yeah. Um, however, those who their voice opinions and issues so such as social injustice and political oppression often face a hate-filled backlash of scorn and contempt from teammates, coaches, fans, and sponsors. So how far has this gone back? So as you can see here, we have this painting by Jacob Lawrence, an African-American painter and also a civil rights activist who portrayed um, Confrontation on the Bridge, that's the name of the painting, and he portrays a symbol of oppression. So, as you can see right here, the dog is interpreted as whites or other forms of discrimination, and peaceful protests such as the March of Selma to Montgomery or the Montgomery Boys Boycott were made to counter back. And since this was also um, shown on live television, national television, um, this created more sympathy because even with such hatred, the African Americans here were still um, not retaliating and they also did um, peaceful protests such as sit-ins or marches, as you can see here. And they also faced brutality such as beatings, dog attacks, as you can see, and they were even sprayed with um, And from one of the stimuli sources, Simone Bills actually says, it is not only through facing the potential for failure or fear that one can overcome pain, doubt, or opposition. So Simone Bills once said, oppositions are all human resolves being tested by circumstances. And this is basically true for all athletes regardless of your skill level. So while pro athletes impact the globe on a larger scale, they can also be blamed for destroying the integrity of sports. For example, if they use drugs for stress or um, their antisocial behavior, while college athletes impact the community around them, for instance, their kids and neighbors. Um, they can also be ridiculed for their talents when invited to high-ranked universities because most of the um, black athletes, they mostly get um, scholarships for example, Jahir or, um, yeah, that's pretty much, yeah, Jahir, pretty much. Um, but also, some believe that they will abuse the opportunity given to them by acting out. And acting out is basically a trait stereotypical of black people. That's why I know um, As you can see here, we have the famous runner, Shikari Richardson. And it was actually found out that she used drugs drugs after her mom's death and she was kicked out of the Tokyo Olympics as a result. But a fun fact about that is that um, one of the one other athlete named Camilla B, she's um, also white, she competed in the Beijing Games after failing her drug test as well. 
And the difference between that is that Shikari, she was kicked out because the main difference was that she was black while um, Camilla V was not. And here we have Rob Dillingham, who had an illness that placed him out of an important match right before his game. And this just shows that celebrated natural skills of a black athlete stereotype may encourage one to prioritize athletics over needs, including academic success and mental health. So what are the perspectives of each gender? Here we have the title IX, which was part of the Public Education Act of 1972, that increased opportunities for women to participate in athletics, as you can see. Um, women also face major barriers in participating in sports when pregnant, whereas men can still be in shape and vice versa. Also, getting better in a short amount of time when coming back from maternity leave is not good for um, a woman who just gave birth. And we also have structural inequalities in healthcare, such as race, sex, in class, and are experienced by certain groups, making it harder for them to receive quality health care. So all the minorities today, we actually face um, more or less health care. And it all depends on your race or your class or like how much you need. And what are the solutions for this? So I came up with two solutions. And the first one is raising public awareness about racism. And athletes can actually advocate changes in law enforcement to improve public safety. The second is relocating funds to support the de development of sports psychology, consulting programs, and staffing. And this can also be good for um, pregnant women as well because that also means that they're addressing the pregnancy discrimination. And also having a nutritionist helps with eating disorders for any athletes that might have. So we have some questions for you. Uh, first off, how valid and reliable are the sources that you used? How do you know which sources did not work? So the sources that I used and how I knew that they were um, valid and reliable were that I used um, sources from government sites or and or peer-reviewed journals and articles, and the ones that I didn't that I, that I did know that were, um, were working out for me with the dog moms and vice versa. Okay. And then lastly, explain the level of certainty you have about your conclusion, solution, or recommendation. So my conclusion in most of the research that I was doing, um, they actually described some solutions for me and I was able to use that for my own conclusion because they would back it up with facts and other research researches. Okay. Thank you very much.